All right, good evening and a very warm welcome to The Best of the Good Life. I'm Drago and this is Chilling. Now, if you're just joining us, I'm glad to tell you that we are going to be having an incredible episode. I have an incredible guest on the show. But before that, I'm telling you, Kampala is such a beautiful place to hang out from. Now, we uh, landed to one of the best hotels around Kampala and this is the Fairway Hotel. They have what they call the Asian Fusion Restaurant, bar and restaurant with such a beautiful uh, scenery around. They have an ample space for some of you who want to maybe have a conference meeting or if you want a buffet or if you want outside catering. They have you all fixed. Come here and have an incredible, uh, an incredible time. Now, let me go straight to my guest today. Now, as the comedy industry constantly grows, many have failed and many have succeeded. A, it could be lack of um, originality, and B, it could be of the unexpected fame. Now, the guest I'm having today is a common man known for mimicking the former presidential press secretary, that's Mr. Tamale Milundi, and he's good at doing this. Now, he has built on this character to boost his audience in two laughters, and uh, he has become very famous for this. Now, he's uh, a political joker, an MC, and a comedian at the same time. He's such an incredible man. He hails from Masaka and very proud of uh, coming from Masaka. He says that whoever comes from there, he either succeeds or he actually prevails to, you know, to make history in life. So without no further ado, allow me to introduce to you the incredible and famous Joker himself, Mr. Kafero Toby, also known as T. Amale Milund. Where is the microphone? Ever go to the neighborhood without a mama kid. The Jovora Banabagama Jambagobe. Ever play with Zimia and support him seven. Who do you support? Bagra Bessie. Never play with Zimba Sajam Jacobata. I can kill you. But a K. But I tell me about Jama Bajabazi Kamurim Berusas. Never play with Zimba. Bana Bakuna Bin Balaganovici. Ever since Masaka native Kafero Toby was 14 years old, he has been a force to be reckoned with in the comedy scene throughout Uganda. His quick wit, charisma, and ferociously aggressive style of comedy have earned him a critical acclaim, a huge following, and above all, a busy schedule. That is why Musaveni Musajja Murungi. Ndieta yera bila. Sing is a change every time. Sing is a fall apart. As a principal cast member on NTV's Comedy Files, Innocent Cafero brought a fresh hip style to the already edgy show. Tobin's talents are becoming recognized and appreciated throughout the entertainment industry. And since you will, Zembagam every time. Ndiwa tuwa vera kato soma. Bemula babo naba tambu za soda munu. Bawe tu resi neba waita. Bawe tu resi neba waita. Abadi wale kumuli anga basoro za saint. Abaku te kamera. Neba asikari. Beba funanga diwa no mukirasi nga tebala giri. How are you? I'm very fine. How are you? So it's incredible having you on the show. Yes, yes, yes. I feel at home because UBC is a national television. So I feel at home. Okay. And uh, I know it's a very big television. It can give somebody a very big platform. Uh, what is this thing that you have about people that come from Masaka? Tell me about it. Masaka, Masaka people are blessed. Uh, we can't deny that. We have many uh, big people in Uganda. Like Historically and now, mm. people are coming from Masaka. Mm. Do you remember the late uh, Ben Chiwanuka? He was coming from Masaka. The late Vasunde. We have many uh, living people who are coming from Masaka. The they have the Katikiro of Uganda, you know how Masenge had failed to be accomplished. Accomplished, but now it's it, it's shining because of people from Masaka. We don't have a good education background, but we have a blessing. <laughs> but of course, some have the best academic background. But yes, most, but, but uh, majority mm. of Masaka people yeah, yeah. are not, are, don't have good education background but they can make it still Is because it go to go to Chikubo, go to Owino, uh, most of the hotels in Kampala. Do you also have a mind for business because they are so business oriented? Yes because media does not have money and that's the, the mistake media practitioners do, are doing. The artists, the radio presenters, the TV presenters, the, 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 the singers, the producers. What you get from the media is capital. You need to invest it somewhere. If you get one million from the stage and you go to buy a very good phone, 
you go and you hang out with your girlfriend, you are eating capital. And in Africa, the stupidest person is that person who eats a seed. But, but do you know how uh, very tempting the show business is? There's no, there's no way you can live in show business and you don't spend so luxury like that. That's why artists are poor. Because you have to own a car, you have to put on the most training clothes. Uh, that's why they are poor. That's why you find them, when their talent is over, you find them in a miserable life. Most of the 90% of ex-artists are poor. They die poor. They have many kids. They, live, they are living a hopeless life. But once they were at the top, but because they did not invest. Abakazi tebaguayo. Abakazi abacha kala mobili etan unakati weva liba abacha kala na balala. If you become back, rap they move away. You're proudly born and raised from Masaka. How incredible is it coming, uh, bo being born from Masaka? Uh, I was born in Masaka in 1992, December 26. Wow. So that, that makes you around 26? Yes, my father died on the day I was born. I, I, I can't say that unfortunately because whatever God does in life, it has a purpose. The Baganda fathers are not good at looking after kids. I would have been with issues if he was around. So I am proud of my mom who, is, who has been looking after me up to this time. So, oh, it's so sad. How I would, can you celebrate uh, your no, 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 your no, no, no. No, if a person dies, God can create many chances because all the chances I have now, I wouldn't have got them if my father was around. But God can make somebody's life move in a perfect life. How did you manage to go to school? How did you manage? I was to raised by a single mom. That's how we became poor. But we had the coffee. People from Masaka, we are, we are proud of being with the coffee and banana. The backbone of our area is agriculture. So, I didn't study from good schools. I studied from government-aided schools. But I managed to come up to this era, up to, to this level. Mm. So how did you come to, how did comedy come to fall on your lap? How did you start picking interest in comedy? Listening to Radio Sima in 2001 when I was in primary two. I admired how Sen Kubuge, Mulangira and Chibuka and Mufawala were doing their thing. So I said, that one day I will work in that program on Radio Simba in that particular program. So, after my primary living examinations, yes, 2006, my mom kept quiet for that long. But after they had, the results had come out, my mom told me that we were going to join technical education. I was so amazed. Touch your yes, I I stay mouth gaped in wonderment that how could you have performed well because we had a mentality that he or she who joins technical must have performed poorly. He or she must be a brain failure. But mom told me that I'm a single mom. If I die, God forbid, but if I die when you are in senior city, it's over. But when you're going to get something, a skill in your head, even if I die, you can support and withstand yourself. Amid this protests from many people, including me, my teachers, and the village men, and my, my, my people. All of them did agree to that. Because I was performing well, and we thought that any person who joined Technica, Agenda Kanike, Azimbe, Aigo Kutunga, must be a brain failure. But mom out competed them. What is your little, little, little did I know yeah. that I was going to to leap my opportunity because when I went to Zimbabwe, the technique was called Lutungu Community Polytechnic. Is that where you learned brick making? Yes, Lutungu Community Polytechnic is situated on the land of Chisozi, mm. Chisozi, the farm of Pleasant Seven. So. After reaching there, there were no houses, no people. The place was so bad. In fact, the, for the first time, I, I wanted even to escape. Because you drive from Masaka, you go deep into Zimbabwe. You find farms only, farms only. How, how, how much was the distance from your home to that tertiary institute? It's like 50 miles. Did you used to walk there? No, no. I was in the boarding section. Oh, boarding. So, 
Even when I came back in holidays, my friends could just mock at me. Dabago msiri wagende yo mbanyankole. Oliayo, oliayo, soma biya kuzimba. Gwe ya tukule mberanga. Is that school still coexisting? Yes, because it's owned by the president. It's, it's government aided, but it's situated on the land of President Museveni's farm. Mm. Called the Chisos. The other Chisos Ranch. Okay, as a wise man and a man of so much information, a custodian of so much information, what, what's your major asp or what's your major say on um, tertiary institutions or on or on top of uh, maybe universities or some other? Forms? Yeah. You know, the Englishmen, the, 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 these colonialists, they are called colonialists. Yeah, Lula. colonialists. Yeah. You go in countries which were ruled by the people from England. Uh, they did a very bad thing to us. India is one of them. Yes. Uh, Africa, when I'm talking yeah. about Africa. Africa. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. For them, they wanted us to know English. And the person who knows English is respected by more than an engineer. A person who knows English is respected more than an engineer. But you know that it's impossible for somebody to even come close to a a certified engineer without knowing English? You can, because I was in technical. People who perform the poor in primary. How about some Sanga Muruganda? Uriira. Also, look, we have a Zungu account. No, for technical, we we know we have our own English and terms. I can talk about many words in Atozi man. Omwana yava mu primary nga afunye sate five na jia mu technical. Gwenga wafu afuna buna na abanga asobolo kusereka. Roofing. A person can roof clearly more than you who knows English. So, so you're telling me it's skills, yeah, skills on top of theory. And st skills on top of theory and some little English. Because if I talk about fine aggregates, Mbantege is a Musen. If I talk about coarse aggregates, Mbantege is a Mayinja. If I talk about a matrix, I'm, I'm, I mean it's a mean. If I talk about hardening, setting, there are terms, available terms were money. But trust me, brain failures in the primary, they were the best in skills. But these English people wanted us to know English and to white collar jobs. And when they went, they don't want us to go to their countries. That's why to go in England is very difficult than a Congolese to go in Belgium. Yes. A person to go in France is very easy than go England. So you're telling me you never regretted uh, going to that tertiary institution? First of all, I got a chance which, on which I'm standing up to now. Because President M7 could come walking and could come at school. I got friends. In the weekend, I could go out of the boarding section and I go to their homes and I help them with their houseworks. So the president was a family friend of um, Victor and Africa. Mm -hmm. So one day he came. And the mother of African Victor introduced me as one of his kids, of her kids. Okay. So I was, I was given a bursary. Take a sip. Take a sip. An incredible juice right there. That could, maybe could, that could uh, have been one of the reasons he, he rose to those era ranks. I don't know. I'm yet to find out. Now, from a tertiary institution to now becoming one of the best comedians we have on the ground right now, we are yet to cover all that information. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. This is stealing the best of the good life. Mr. Tiamale, <laughs> let's toast to that as we come back shortly. Don't go anywhere. Thank you for staying glued on uh, Chilling. We uh, remember we are at Asian Fusion Restaurant on Fairway Hotel. Now he's dubbed as Dr. T. Amale. That's a character that he puts on, you know, for mimicking the former presidential press secretary. That's Dr. Uh, that's Mr. Tamale Mirund. Now I'm here having a conversation. I'm getting to know him a little bit, you know, know his life growing up. Now most of it has to do with his village, Masaka, and he's a proud Masakarian. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so, so here you go here you go to a tertiary institution and uh, at first your parents were not pleased with this decision. Your mom wasn't pleased and neither were your teachers and everybody at the village were like, why can't you, why do you have to send this young brilliant Tell me to join to, secondary. To go to secondary. Mm, so you did have a chance later on to go to secondary school? No, because I had skipped the level of secondary. Mm. If you get, you, you if you get, you, three, you, you start, when you join technical, mm. after primary, 
you study three years. Mm. That's universal, univ uh, it's called universal Uganda Junior Technical Certificate. It's equivalent to senior four. Mm. Then you study two years. It's yeah. called the craft part one. It's equivalent to senior six. Mm. So by the time I got that sponsorship from the president, I had finished the craft part one. I was eligible to join university. I went to Umukat because Wait, you are good enough to join yes. an institution? I haven't ever started about the pathways, education pathways. No. Education pathways starts with the primary. When you reach here, it branches. This is secondary, this is technical. You go up, you join yourself here, you go up. That's why you can find the people you studied from P7, you can find them in the same class at the university. Really? When they have passed here. It's called an education pathways. Those charts are very bad. It's primary and secondary schools. You can Is that only applied in the villages? No, everywhere. Everywhere here even in town. Yes, education pathways. You Google and uh, education pathways. So you can either choose to go to secondary. You and this one uh, your friend goes to sec uh, to, 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 to an institution. An like institution. institution. You go up, you meet at the university. So now I don't get it. Please correct me if I'm wrong. So you, do, instead of doing secondary, you go to uh, a practical university, oh sorry, a practical institution, a technical institution, but then still yet, you also go to another, even oh, after that. What I did, I studied three years. That's Uganda Junior Technical Certificate. It's equivalent to senior four. Mm. And if you see the education pathways, the arrows here stop. This is UCE, this is UJTC. Then you go up, this one goes to for HSC, mm. you go for craft one, craft part one, it is for two years. Mm. This one goes for a diploma a degree, for you, you go for, uh, it's called advanced diploma, it's mm. for one year. Mm. Secondly, here you go for diploma of two years, mm. and you go for a degree of three or four years. Mm. But this one can study up to senior six, and at the university wants to do cost calculations or engineering, you find yourself in the same class. Okay. So now you go to Umkat. Yes, I went to Umkat because I wanted to do media. Now the chance was clear. The board was with me. I was in the 18 yards box. Mm. I had to kick it in the net. So I went to Umkat. Uh, that was 2011. Uh, 2011, 2012, 2013. Some of your oh, your OBs. We have Tony yes, being one of them. We have Farouk. Yeah, these are comrades that we work with at the station, yeah. Uh, there is a lady, there is Idris Rukwago. Oh, yeah. And these are all young, hard-working men. Yes. So I, I can see where the quality comes from. We are the same class. We are taught by Barry Francis. Yeah. We are proud of him. We are taught by the late Hijeni, who was doing good. But I loved Barry Francis so much. So uh, for some reason, you continue pursuing media or journalism. But people don't know that, that you actually originated from radio. How come? Uh, most of the times, uh, other comedians don't have backgrounds of media. They just started from those bars and they came to limelight. But for us, we are, that's why we are good. Wait, you say they started from where? <laughs> they started from... Performing, uh, performing. Uh, performing, performing, yeah. performing. Mm -hmm. But for me, in 2000. 13 in January, I went to Radio Simba. Lord of Ochigana, Ochigana, Uganda could give it a good job. A good if Uganda show you know, Kumanya Musata go SV, a cocoita boyfriend, you are Ferreira Kurum Street in Muman. Baum Ferre, eh, Zamusaja, you know, to go it is some market premium white detergent. So the character of Dr. Tia Malay, was it birthed on radio? It was birthed on radio. That's why most of the time, you see, if I'm introducing myself, I say, Dr. Tia Malay of BBS Terrifying and Radio Simba. Because I like Radio Simba. I liked it from my childhood. I worked in the program I learned to work in. I worked with the very people I was listening to when I was young. And I found something different and strange on Radio Simba. Radio Simba is like a Barcelona. Barcelona has the most vibrant academy, La Masia Academy. And every person who comes from La Masia Academy is so dangerous. You know, 
You have seen Messi, you have seen Iniesta, you have seen Sergio Busquets, you have seen many people who are coming from La Masia Academy. So, Radio Simba has been a nursery bed for many media houses. CBS FM, strong men and strong women came from Radio Simba. Um, who else is there that was, uh, that was discovered from Radio Simba that is doing Amot. wonders now? Amot. Amot Mbaranguzi, Afande Kere Kere, we have Bakai Miradra Maktas. These are all talented people. Yes, we have JJ Semanda, the person who invented Echigunda, and those big events. How does their system work? They have a system whereby if you have a talent, your talent is virgin. It doesn't fit in their house style. They put in the production, mm. they teach you, they put something in you to fit in a radio Simba's style. That's why every person who has been anchoring news on Radio Simba is following Chagira Musisi because that's their house style. Dachika Mukaga is a kind of subsamma Chago Nakuarero, Kadekamuk Rogula Simba, Akto Swako Airtel, Wanga de Oba, then Oba Drago, then Wogaku Sako. A Yawkana Via CBS, Musibium Tanavana Vaduriza, a Muri de Gagan of Chapel. That's also their house style. Yes. So Radio Simba has the wolf doing their jokes. They have the wolf doing. They have. The, you know what they call a house style. Katongo uh, Mutongo. We have many people have come to Radio Simba and become a reason. So one day we were in the production of Radio Simba. You know, Radio Simba and Hot 100 they share the same production. We are doing an advert. They wanted somebody to speak. Luganda nice the English for Hot 100 is advert. So they called me on the microphone. Mm. I came and did it well. And then in Daos mm. said, that is Tamale Miru. Do that. Yeah. Because of a production, any media house must do with an active production. A production microphone must be on every time and every person to monitor any person who enters. Because uh, talents are discovered in the production. When you are just laughing, you can be laughing. Some say, eh, can you do that again? Mm -hmm. Okay, go to the microphone. Do this for me. And they discover what can do. Uh, Amot did not, did, did, was not doing like a motor. Mm. Amot was called the boogie woogie. He was funny. Boogie -woogie. Yeah. He was funny. But when he, wa he went to Radio Simba, Bamo Samuel Nonoya Radio Simba, mm. as you see, the Spanish people, the Spaniards, when they are playing, when they are playing football, they use the total football, which was invented by Johan Clive. Total football, where every person is a defender, is a striker, is a midfielder. When they attack, they attack together. Yes, when that's why defend, you see how Barcelona plays. Mm. So it's different from the defensive football of the Italians, mm. and it's different ah. from the Compira Gokparo Guavangereza. So, Radio Simba is a natural and So, from the first moment, uh, how did you find a relationship with this character? Like, because most of the times, most people go, go on confessing that it's the character that chooses, uh, chooses them. In your case, do you think... No, no I, because I, I didn't even think about doing Tamale Miru. Someone might, might think you, maybe you sat there and learned his mannerisms, you, you learned his intonation and the way you know how he conducts himself. Believe me or not, I don't want Tamale Mirun to get what, is, what I do. But I used to listen to Tamale Mirun. By the time he was still at Radio Simba, Gasimba Ganeba Namaulide, Oba Simba Wakatia was Peter Chivazo. So, when in those told him that, mm, that's Tamale Mirun, let, let, let us practice it. Mm. At that time, I practiced it and I got it right. Then it was a Friday, on Monday I was on air. Really? Yes. It took that's that where you Simba. It if took you that come, short time. This is a moral lesson. Mm. If a person comes at the station, mm. don't deny any person a chance. Because you never know. Radio Simba is always open. If you want to see Colin, our CEO, you see him. Mm. If you want to see Mandev, our programs director, you see him. If you come and send in Sobolo Kolak Radio, we take the production right there, we give you a microphone. If you do well, we retain. If you don't do well... 
So there is That's this thing that you know Ivan. You know this chair you know? Yeah. Ivan Zonguru. Yeah. Yeah. That person. Those are from the production of Radio Sing. We came from the production of it was Angabaka Vam Tokola Kusin Banga Toy Sem production. Kukute Kamu no no ya we. Wow. And no no chikuru. Chovola Banti Madrid, but on Avaji Sambida. Kuba Madrid, ye in no no ya yo. Mira, ye in no no ya yo. Atletico Madrid, at this way of Katifeche Tukola. Tuagala Kumba Bantu. Atunze Kubit, Kumagala Mubemuleten. That's why you haven't ever seen a person who comes from another station to go to radio C. Because I was going to ask you that. Yes. How comes you've never worked You come for when you station? start CBS. How comes you've never worked for another radio station? Yes, Kubanga Styles of Fezaukana. The show is called Chilink on UBC TV. Take it away, do the outro link. That's our camera right there. And please convince our viewers to come back next week and tune into the second part. Take it away. That's your camera. Uh, in which language should I say? Use both. I use both. I've already got a film with UBC TV, the Dr. Tiamari, what BBS Telefine, and then Radio Simba, in Polokome Yedembe. Bambi, please, please, I beg, come back and watch the second part with my Drago Kanyama Bonia. Say no more. Dr. Tiamari sticks with me next week. Don't go anywhere as you get cracked. All right, now, see you next week. I want to thank Lawrence. I want to thank Esther. I want to thank UBC TV and the management, plus God, for bringing us here. So, uh, now, on the next part, we are going to be uh, sharing a meal, a mouth-watering meal. It's going to be, uh, it's going to have a little bit of chicken. It's going to have and a little bit of And even they will get to know that I'm a born again. And they will also know that True born he, again. he's a strong Christian brother right there. I believe in <laughs> Jesus. Thank you to the Asian Fusion Restaurant on Fairway Hotel. See you next week. Bye. Gotcha.